Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Torchlight 2. When we last left off, we just came into here, into this dungeon. We're supposed to there are people down there. find a scroll and also not die. That's one of our top goals at the moment. Uh oh. Oh, that guy, he teleports. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's one of my favorite, I guess, uh, special abilities for these unique monsters is whenever they teleport and whenever they... You have become more experienced. Whenever they split. I got scared. <laughs> I don't like when they split. I killed them once, they should stay dead. I like the idea of it, I guess I should say, more than I like the actual splitting, because honestly, that's just more enemies to fight. Oh yeah. But, uh, the good news is that with that, you end up with, oh wow, I just got a mysterious great axe, an orange great axe. With that, though, you end up with just more of an opportunity to get good drops. Or so I believe. I'm not sure if they drop things whenever they die for the first time in this. Oh, you're whenever going they the split opposite up. way, man. <laughs> I'll come find you. One thing I would like to mention is that we do not plan on doing any kind of off-screen grinding, any kind of off-screen progress. <laughs> progress, yeah. The things that we might do off-screen, like I fished a little bit between this film, I can't this episode and the last, right though? That, isn't that terrible of me? I just got another ghastly item. But fishing is probably on the list. Fishing, I'll go into a little bit later, but we also plan on doing most of the inventory management off screen because I'm sure no one wants to sit here and watch us dig through our 20 new cloth <laughs> pants that we found for, I don't know. <laughs> three minutes because we have to decide if we want to keep any of them completely analyze every attribute of the pants the cloth pants but we are going to show you what we do decide to keep just uh you know that way every time y'all come <laughs> to watch the next video we're not in completely new gear <laughs> and again I've leveled up like 14 times well, not that much. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, and, and I didn't notice. Again. I'm just gonna wait. It's one thing I'm never gonna get over in this game that you. They just don't let me know. They don't like me knowing things. But the good news is, whenever something like that happens, whenever you go to a loading screen of some sort, then yeah. you end up figuring it out, and it's a wonderful epiphany. You're like, oh man, I have 32 levels that I need to spend. But about the fish that I mentioned, there is pro-tier fishing in this game, 10 out of 10, better than life. You know, <laughs> better than real life, better than, I don't know who makes the best fishing games, I don't keep up <laughs> uh Madden <laughs> Pro Fisher 13. Yeah. I don't know. It's wonderful, wonderful Madden fishing engine. <laughs> and <laughs> Madden narration. But it is Wait, really we didn't explore all the way oh yeah we did. <laughs> <laughs> the fish that you find or rather kill and feed to your pet are things that transform them. I imagine that they're hallucinogenic, but that's just my hypothesis. The fish will transform them into different things, like my 
uh, Gnarls Barkley right here. I'm going to feed him or her a war snout and it transformed into a war beast for five minutes and they have all sorts of different times that it can last there's 5 10 15 there's even permanent changes that it can make and on top of these hallucinogenic fish there's also other fish that will change your movement speed your attack speed crit rate there's all kinds of awesome passive things that you can get from these fish as well or even they included what's called a goldfish and it basically says this fish does shit all your best bet with this is to sell it I don't know if it's a collectible or what I know it's pretty rare to find one or at least it has been in my experience but they sell for like 700 gold or something and that kind of stuff like I said I'm going to do off screen but if I use one, of course, you're going to see it. Ibizithrin right here, giving us a hard time. Or IBI. Oh man, yeah. he's a splitter. <laughs> That's alright. I like that we're getting pretty good fame with this. Yeah. Like... Ibziter is has been giving them trouble for a while now. <laughs> All these people trying to explore these catacombs are running into problems. <laughs> All of these other people defiling these graves have really had some problems with Ibziter. Oh man, it's ranged mofos. They got new skulls. I do too. Must be Bungie employees. <laughs> Did you hear about Bungie visiting that sick kid? Yeah, that's one of their my my favorites. Aren't they working on a new project or something now? Yeah, I forgot what it's called, but that'll be something to see. Oh, do you remember Eve Online? No. <laughs> That's fine. Um, Project or er, Dust 514 just came out, and it's it's this shooter that's integrated with this huge space exploration and combat sim and everything MMO, where they actually interact with each other. Where if you do something on Dust, it'll actually happen in EVE Online as well and that kind of stuff. Oh wow, that's really cool. Yeah, and it's on consoles, but EVE is on PCs of course. So, it's odd that they have that interaction, but... Anyways, that, that'll that be something to kind of watch for. I'm excited for it. I've gotten about three levels, I think. But yeah. I and I'm not exaggerating that time. Whoops, I went to the surface. That's fine. Anything else? No. I'm going to put some more points into Blood Hunger and then one into Frenzy Mastery. And portal back up to the surface. I do need to spend stat points. They're called stat points, not action <laughs> points. I fucking. Every time, I forget. But. There we go. You have gained fame. And, uh. The side quests, the really cool thing about them in this game is they're pretty much on the way Let's press on a little bit. to uh, your next objective. And like I said, and evidently they're kind of randomized because, like I said in the last episode, there was a little guy, kid, whatever, hiding behind that gravestone. But, I don't know, some skeleton stole his mom's ring or something. <laughs> we had to go get it back. He tried to resurrect his mother and his brother <laughs> and now his brother's dead. <laughs> and uh, he couldn't clean up the mess he made. So now he's looking for a stone and we had to help him find it. <laughs> yeah. 
That was the quest though, and it's not there. Evidently he didn't have the problems. This time, this is yeah. an alternate universe where the next series takes place. What, your mom didn't die this time? <laughs> <laughs> wow, rude. Um... I do like all of the different loot. Like, I've been... Usually my luck isn't this good, but I've gotten two orange items since we started, and I'm a, maybe level six or seven. Yeah, six. One thing uh, they also include is the reason he said that is I have a set of armor. It's called Ghastly Set. And when you get so many pieces, you get bonuses um, if you collect. And there's several armor sets. Um, and I'm sure Jake will show you one point. Uh, what's I actually... I just got the ghastly boots and I think I have the ghastly pauldron. Damn, I have good timing. <laughs> um anyways, like I think the ghastly set adds on to uh some like gold find and increased oh, experience. There we go. No, ghastly actually does all damage taken reduced by 10%. Oh, uh, on mine, not the set effect, but the oh yeah yeah individual effects are. Come on, let's keep going. I do like the ghastly set though. I feel like it's. I mean, of course, I'm not any kind of professional or anything with this game, but so far I found it to be one of the best sets of armor. <laughs> In our level 13 <laughs> characters. <laughs> No, we we got further than that. We were, I think I hit maybe 17 or 20 or something on one of them. But I do like the ghastly armor. I like it's been lasting me a while before I can even find anything I would want to replace that with. Like 10% of all damage taken is really nice for such a uh, hands-on character class like the Berserker hands-on as in fist in their face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's what I was hinting at, I suppose. I think I've got some better claws and everything in my... You just get claws. Here. Claws. Is there anything else here? And also, just as a redeeming to the last video, I have a level up I still haven't spent. As a redeeming to the last video, we would like to point out that we remember Fate and the original Torchlight. Uh, he was mentioning how he's not sure if there's the any other game really that had the pet system like this one does as, I guess, prominent, maybe, as this one does. How useful they are, like I said, they're your utility belt. Let's go ahead and head back and mess with our inventory real fast before we press on. Any quests we need to turn in? No, not right now. I'll pause the video, I'll get back with you guys in just a little bit here. Alright guys, we're back. I sold most of my items I'm gonna keep these in my uh, shared stash but these items I'm gonna go ahead and equip they're looking pretty good especially this one two percent crit chance this one's nothing to write home about but it's better than what I have and now I look like a pirate so that's another plus <laughs> just gonna sell these real fast and then pop the other items in my shared stash I got some cool gauchos <laughs> from my guy. Sick. Really comfortable, breathe really well. You gotta be comfortable when you're slaying <laughs> monsters and going through these dingy dungeons. Yeah. And I'm going to put my skill points and everything. Oh no, I was hiding. You found me. <laughs> Shit. I'm sorry. Go hide again, I'll find you. I'm gonna go ahead and go pop five points into vitality and then put the rest in my dexterity. 
like I said, I'm going for a crit class, so I'm trying to focus on dexterity as much as possible. Following you, my man. One thing you'll notice I do is I pick up just about every health potion I've got. And here's a promising fishing hole. What these do is they're basically just fishing holes with better drop rates or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to pause the video real fast and I'll be right back as soon as I'm done fishing. Okay guys, we're back. I just wanted to go ahead and show you. I'm pretty sure I haven't shown you yet how to fish. So I'd just like to show you whenever this outside circle comes into the middle and the inside circle turns gray like that, you'll hear a sound and you press the button and you pull up your rod and get whatever fish. This is one of those passive fishes I was talking about. It's got all those nice little effects and this is one of the goldfish. Which, of course, like I said, I'm going to sell. I'll show you guys how much it sells for, but... Then I'm going to turn my pet into a jackal beast so you can see that. Head on out. I didn't even get any good fish. <laughs> and another thing, sometimes fish swallow belts and boots. Oh, so... the bear traps. So... You'll sometimes get... I'm not going to say good armor, but armor from... Fishing as well. I actually did get a really good, uh, I think it was a pair of boots from I a think fish. I, I've maybe gotten one or two boots that are, or probably boots, that are actually alright from fishing. Portal scrolls those are just like town portal scrolls. So if you notice, there's about 700 bear traps. We've yet to see a bear except one dead one in the intro video. Or not video, a character but... character creation, yeah. Yeah, so... We know... I'm here fighting Stenbrun. Stenbrun, from whatever. Um, but yeah, these bear traps are everywhere. Our only explanation that we've come up with so far for it is that they set all these bear traps and now all of the bears are dead. And I'm pretty sure they're extinct, yeah. <laughs> I got the eye of Stinburn. You'll not you'll not, not be these bear traps are an issue to us, so <laughs> Armor schematics. Quest complete. We can't figure it out. And they're slow too, so like you step on them, then my wolf comes along and gets his leg Oops. chopped off. My uh, <laughs> mole beast just got a nice 56 damage done from that fucking bear trap. Oh, that guy's a ghost. Oh, he's not even important though. He's just a normal enemy. Phase beast. I'm not sure what that is. Well, he runs around enough, I'd say. He opened a phase port. I've never seen. Oh my gosh, what? Let's this go is through. The... And I think we'll go ahead and pause it here. This seems like a good point for the start of the next video. Nice cliffhanger for y'all. <laughs> phase we don't... challenge. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Because <laughs> we've never seen this either, so... I guess we'll, we'll see y'all next time. Adios.